Y'all are crazy. Uh, an, an update on Deshaun Watson. He's speaking as uh, we speak. His oh. opening statement. He said flat out he's he's going to take football only questions. That's what I thought he said. I, I, I do think the I one thing that him. I really loved that he said was um, he. It sounds like he started by really um, giving respect to Jacoby Brissett and talking about uh, his relationship and what he has meant, what Jacoby Brissett has meant to him. I think that's um, we all like to hear that. He says the big brother he's been to me. And everyone in that locker room, the passion, grit he's shown in these past weeks. He's been awesome for me. Our relationship has been great. The bond has been great. But in terms of any off-field talk, he's made it clear from the beginning that he's not going to answer those questions. Doesn't mean they're not going to be asked. I'm sure I'm sure some reporters will try to fire away those questions, but um, they're going to keep it, it looks like, to, uh, to football only. Okay, I'm not. I, I suggested he did that earlier in the week. I, yeah. I you know, again, I'm okay with it. You know, you have a problem that, with it. He I'm mentioned in, that it, it was he was advised by yeah. you know to, because of the two pending uh, lawsuits to um, to leave the personal stuff alone, and he's here to talk about football. I, I think we're all fatigued by it only because, and I did say that there were other things for him to address. There is a new allegation, so there there are pertinent questions to ask. But at this point, I'm just fatigued by the whole thing. And yeah. maybe that's the wrong attitude to have. But I don't know what else he can say that he hasn't said. I don't know that we can ask outside of the new allegation that we haven't or the new civil suit that we haven't already asked. I'm just I just I, I need to start covering a football team again. As a as a as a journalist, <clears throat> do you think people will start jockeying for off season piece? Do you think he'll be more forthright and talk about some of the things uh, that are going on or happen? Off, like in the off season, not during the season, or do you think that that's a two year type thing coming down the line? It depends on how the season ends. It depends on if he plays well, and it depends on the relationships that his agent has and who he trusts. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's the honest answer. The people around Deshaun um, have relationships with people in the media, and who do you trust to tell the story? And I said, I said the other day, I think it's going to be a Netflix special in a couple of years. And I absolutely believe that. I think he's going to handle it himself. When he really tells his story, I think he wants to be in control of it. It's going to be big. Well, on that note, uh, there is a Peacock uh, docu-series documentary that I think was released last night. Do you guys remember the case in Florida where the young girl was allegedly murdered by her mother? Her mother stood trial. And um, she ultimately, she waited 31 days to even report her missing. The baby's name was vaguely. Kaylee. I remember the that baby's vaguely, name was yes. Kaylee. Well, uh, this documentary debuted, and it's basically her telling the story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people just don't see through it. I mean, she absolutely got roasted, saying, "I didn't believe her then. I don't believe her now." She's changed her story five times along the way, mm-hmm. but. In today's media world, she was offered two hundred thousand dollars by Peacock to do this documentary. She profited over the death of her daughter. Yeah. yeah. But more importantly, she got to control the narrative. It's yeah. it's her project. Right. She's involved in the project. And I imagine to your point, in a year or two, <clears throat> we will see whether it's on Amazon Prime or whatever it is, Netflix, there will be a documentary that has his fingerprints on it. Absolutely. And then everybody will make the decision whether in, or not they want to believe it. In the meantime, there will be articles done. He yeah. will do sit downs. I, sure. I don't know that I even want to do that, frankly. Like, I don't know that I want to be in that position. Yeah, it's, it's, By it's, way, it's I got really some, tough. Got some quotes from Watson, asked about what the reaction he thought he would get from the fans in Houston on Sunday. Quote, I'm not sure. My main focus is on the game plan and trying to execute so we can win. Uh, I want to get back to that finish, but I want to get back to that. And one more. He asked, how close is he to the player he was? Uh, There's that that one I just mentioned. uh, How close is he to the player he was? Quote, we'll have to see Sunday, honestly. It might take time. It might not take time. I want to go out there and make plays as much as I possibly can. Two years is a long time, but I've been doing this since I was six years old. So even he's admitting, hey, I don't know. Right. I don't know for sure. Mixed bag. Obviously, Jacksonville did not go well. No, it did the, not. The preseason game. Yeah. And that's all we have to go off of. Mikey, right now. did you get the tweet that I sent you? Uh, is, yeah, I just got it right now. Yes. Is, is there a way we can take that to tag board? Because I think it's worth having this discussion. Yeah, give me, give me one sec. Okay. While he's bringing that up, 
the idea of the crowd, I, I've said multiple times on the show, I thought it was going to be like just intense and just toxic and Houston bringing down hate. It sounds like that's not going to be the case at all. Tucker, I was way off on Tucker that. Tucker said that on 92. I was listening to 92 through the fan, and he was talking. Well, and he said, like, well, they got problems of their own. Well, John McClain, I heard John McClain, longtime Texans writer in Houston, Houston Chronicle, say, like, nobody cares about this team. It's going to be half Browns fans. That's what there. I said the other yeah. day. And, 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 I, I and McClain is the most plugged in guy Absol- in Houston. And he, he is. He yeah. said, but that will surprise me if that's yeah. the case. He said, they don't care about this team. This team's awful. They've given up on them. There's apathy around the Texans and the Browns have a huge Browns backers. He said of all the teams, because Houston is so massive, they right. have a lot of visiting teams come in. He said the Browns have probably the biggest base of all of them. And he Mc- said, I'd expect to see a lot of Browns fans there cheering for Deshaun. McNuggets, wow. you sent me, uh, you, you were on Twitter the other day and you were talking about the distribution of this game. I think the NFL. Yeah, Jason know. got me real quick. Jason sent me that first, and Jason, you got me in a whole whirlwind of crap last night. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> what did I do? For I, real? Tweeted, I tweeted it out, and it got completely turned around. And uh, I got in a Twitter fight last night with like 50 people. It was, I felt like Jon Snow. And <laughs> but you, <laughs> but, but, but you were right. right. You He's were right. right. I didn't I see any right. of it. That don't want, they don't want no parts of showing if that. If you look at the map of where this game is going to be on TV. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only in Houston and, yeah. and oh, Cleveland. Oh, they're That's hiding it. it. They're hiding the game. Yeah. Of course they are. They want I mean, no... This is the league saying we, they're putting it under their rug. Yeah. And to that point, I think this is worthy of having a. a I don't. Th- we don't need to go nuts on it, but if you can tag board the tweet that I sent you, I find this fascinating. And I've, it's not just this tweet. I've seen a lot of people tweet this. Remember, this is an owner of the most prolific NFL team in the league, and these are pictures. We've all seen these pictures before of Jerry Jones. Why is it that the media is clamoring and can't wait to get their pound of flesh from Deshaun Watson? Over and over and over and over again. When has Jerry Jones stood in front of a gaggle of reporters to answer to these photos? It's creepy. He ain't never going to do that. You know that. Well, you, uh, have these women that. accused him of sexual assault? As creepy as that is. They, they speak for themselves, Bull. You can't do that. What do you mean? Well, I'm not defending them, but the one on the left the, looks happy. They both were. <laughs> but <laughs> this is an owner of an NFL team. Yeah. And we talk about protecting the shield. And don't do anything to embarrass. I don't care if those women clearly were willing participants. Well, that's, that's embarrassing to the shield. Did you see LeBron's comments last night? I did see LeBron's comments, and that's where I was going to go next. So, you may or may not have seen the picture that has resurfaced yeah. from 1957. It was a Washington Post story. It was a Washington Post story. It was an old photo. Jerry has actually talked about this picture before. And by the way, I'm, I'm not siding with anyone on this. I need to hear more information. But... From the photo, and maybe we can find that picture. Um, just uh, Google Jerry Jones, Arkansas I segregation. It over the weekend. We, we'll get it. Give us 30 but, seconds. But the thing, the, 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 if you don't know what the story is, there is a story, there is a photo that is one of those words. It's, Here it is. It, it, you know, a picture's worth a thousand words. This is when it's, um, black classmates were being bullied by um, some white students from uh, desegregating Central High and Little Rock, and Jerry Jones is circled in the back. And you see, the, now, if Jerry Jones was the kid in the front with the cigarette in his mouth, I'd have a real problem with it. Right. Right. But I cannot condemn Jerry Jones I totally for, agree for with being you. there. I totally I agree. agree with you. Because I, I if that agree. happened in any high school in America, the, 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 oh, there's something going on. There's a fight. Okay, well, how many fights did you see in your high school? Thousands. And how many fights did you go to to say, what, what's, what the hell's going on over there? And you're an innocent bystander. And if a photo was snapped, that doesn't make you guilty of being a, an active participant in the fight. I need context. And I do not want to, I'm do not need, being a Jerry Jones apologist. We, I was the one that said, let's show this We do need right, context. Right. Uh, I, I, I think. So he spoke of it. I didn't has, like the LeBron. I, I Listen, I, I think Jerry Jones is a scumbag. But uh, I, 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 I'm bothered by the consistent uh, whataboutism. And I was disappointed in LeBron. If LeBron wants to bring up Jerry Jones, that's fine. It should be have nothing to do with Kyrie Irving. I, I agree. shouldn't bring that up. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, Jerry Jones, the Jerry Jones situation is is not is not an apples at, to apples comparison to what no. Kyrie Irving did. No, it's not. I, I, it's it's not. I, I, but see, Jerry Jerry do, it did say by the way. I've addressed. I, I have talked about this photo. It was in the '90s, maybe. Um, I read a piece where he said his comment was, "I was scared to death that day. I didn't know what was going to happen." 
Yeah, and so, who knows I mean, what the truth is? But yeah, I mean, I'm not. I can't condemn uh, him based on yeah. that photo. He was clearly uh, rubbernecking yeah. to yeah, what he, was going on. Now, if he was the kid in the front with the cigarette in his mouth, that by the way, just looks like one of the most punchable faces that you've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, you talk about hate pouring through a photo. That almost looks like to me it's staged from a movie. You yeah. gotta go to if you yeah. want to get if you want to get down to the the brass tacks. I understand LeBron can't just say what he want to say. The problem is this, man. Half you know we we look at things in, in sports. We 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 judge harshly people who dribble basketballs and make layups and throw footballs than we do with people with real power, real process in this world. You can't tell me. That you know, we're still talking about this guy. We're still talking about Deshaun Watson, but we still get a guy who can say, "Look, I got 25, 26 allegations. I'm gonna run for president again, and half of the country will vote for him." They the, did the first idea. They, yeah. right, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But hold on, no, no, hold on. The, the other half of us have been screaming about but, it for but, six but years. Here's, here's the here's the problem. Yeah. The problem is. He's not paraded on that team. You don't hear. There's no parades. There's no. There's no nothing. There is no allegations. They don't go look for the women. They don't care. Yes. No. 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 They no. Hold on. Watch. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. No. 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 Yeah. To the point when we when I watch Deshaun Watson, it's over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Right. Every single week, even after eleven weeks. But you telling me. And it's hard for a black man to say you we talk about a quarterback who throws a football. But half of our country does not even care that our president, the highest of the food chain, we just talk, we Joe Thomas just said he holds coaching in high esteem. I hold the president in high esteem okay. and for half of my co- half of my comrades. Yeah, to say I'm going to willingly sign up for that again. When you tell me about Deshaun Watson, we're kind of cynical. We're like, really? You but guys gee, care? Gee, gee. Really? I, I don't buy that. The, like the other half of the country is horrified by him on a daily basis. So I don't. It's I don't. Seventy-five million half, people. Half the country now, doesn't care what Kyrie did or said. Well, there's a difference too between allegations, like, and that's what Deshaun Watson. These are allegations. Yeah. In the criminal sense, he faced two grand juries and was not indicted. Right. We know that the criminal bar is at its lowest to get an indictment. They couldn't even do that. So I understand your point. However, from the allegation standpoint, where we have to be really careful when the allegations are flying around, truth be told, there was a story circulating before the 2020 election that Joe Biden had raped a woman. Thank you. And, and so at that point, well, it's an allegation and we can't prove it. I mean, it's almost the opposition research. Right, was there a legitimate... Politics. I mean, was it from a legitimate source? Well, uh, what, I mean, I remember, had dozens, what, what I remember from the but, story but was Jay, this. Jay, that's one. No, Trump's had dozens and dozens of Well, that's of to the 26 of, of the, the Sean Watson. We're like, well, what number is it where we have to believe them? But on the, on the Biden you thing. You can choose to well, believe whatever you want. Right. But what was interesting to, with me on the Biden thing yeah. was at the time, the woman was um, working in his office as an aide. And she quit over this incident. They pulled tape from the Larry King show from this woman's mother calling Larry King live. It got through on the air Mm -hmm. and saying, my daughter works for a prominent senator in the United States. I think she even named Joe Biden. And what he did to her was inexcusable. That what that does was it goes back to that moment in time and shows that there was something going on there. Did he do it? Who knows? Did any of these happen? Did Deshaun Watson do right, it? Right, but we the, don't know. Reality, we're all left to make our own rea- decisions. Sure, but the reality is, is when you have 25 allegations or whatever with Watson, right, or dozens and dozens of allegations as Trump had, which is why not it's to mention trying to overthrow the government, which is important. Uh, why we have to remember gonna, these are allegations. I hear you, but and the, he wasn't. You know, it's hard to Deshaun believe, Watson was not convicted. It's much harder to believe. That twenty and thirty people are lying versus one person. But are you willing to are you willing to judge Deshaun Watson as guilty? We all judge. I know, but are you willing to do that? Am I that, of guilty of? I, I think there's probably somewhere in between. So, right. So so my, so I, it's impossible to believe for me. I think it's that impossible nothing happened. that he did absolutely yeah, and nothing. And I'm in that camp. Well, I can't. Well, I, well, I find here, that impossible here, to believe. Here's what. Here's here's the problem we have with a double standard. You yeah. can do that and be a white man, be president. 
You can't do. But you shouldn't be. Uh, but but it's not about what you should. Yeah. It's not about should. The reality is it happened. Is. Yeah. Uh, now, 